me. But how did you come across this idea of uh, the leadership consultancy of the and what keeps you driving again and again on this? Okay. Well, I think what gave, it wasn't just me, it was a, 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 a group of us that, that came to the same conclusion. It was why we would do, we were each developing, or had this role in developing a, chief, a team of chief executives. Mm -hmm. And um, it was when we realized that um, there was no best practice, and that maybe that we'd stumbled on what was the, the seed of a best practice when we started to realize that it was, you know, the, the, the foundation was about changing changing yourself. It's not about, as Tolstoy said, everybody wants to change the world, but nobody wants to change themselves. And that's very true of leaders. That, you know, typically, when you're in a leadership position, it's okay, I'm gonna reorganize, I'm gonna hire this person, we're gonna have that strategy. They never think about, okay, so what am I going to change about me to make me a better leader so this all happens? Mm -hmm. And I think that that's kind of, uh, that's kind of fundamental. And, and the realization that also there was a business opportunity there. So, it, you know, it, it was partly altruistic that I thought that, you know, this could really make a difference in the world. I genuinely believe that. But at the same time, there was a, I thought, you know, there were, we thought there was a commercial opportunity here because it wasn't being done. What keeps you driving? What keeps me driving? I think um, it's nowadays. You know, one thing is you have formulated this idea of leadership. Yeah. Right? Now that's what you have created for and offered yeah. to people. Yeah. But what is the full force from that side okay. which keeps you driving? What it's the feedback from leaders of okay. who, who I work with. I mean, and it's not always the, the great and the good, but sometimes it's the, it's the young and the new. Um, for example, I got an email out of the blue um, about two months ago from a, a woman who, who was just being named chief executive of a company in Perth, Australia, who I worked with on a leadership development program in 2006. She sent me an email. I hadn't heard from her in five years. She said, I just thought you'd like to know I've now been made chief executive and uh, I'd just like to thank you for for that time where you gave me my self-confidence. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't give her self-confidence, of course, but I enabled her to get her self-confidence. That gave me a real buzz, because, you know, I, I'd done so, I, you know, I'd achieved something in the world, not for myself specifically, but for the greater good, and that's what gives the buzz, I think. Well, 